I'm Jared Logan, and welcome to Don't You Think. Well, I'm sick again today, and it's just not fair, and I'm upset because I was supposed to see my nephew this weekend, and nothing is more important to me than my nephew. Nothing is more important than my nephew. And now I can't see him because I'm sick. And also, those of you who are my loyal friends know that I was going to get a parakeet. We were talking about it. Now me and Kara have decided not to get the parakeet because of our cats. Sometimes it just feels like the world puts everything that you care about out of your reach. But I'm not going to let it stop me. So I may be very contagious, but I'm here. And this might be the bravest thing I've ever done. But I'm going to do this show. Snoochie Boochies. Today's guest on Don't You Think is uh, one of my favorite comedians. He's also an activist. That's why I asked him to come on here. Please welcome Ted Alexandro. Ted, thanks so much for being on Don't You Think. My pleasure, Jared. Thank you. Now, it's been two years since the protesters of Occupy Wall Street were kicked out of that park. Ted, what happened? I guess the bums lost, Lebowski. Condolences, the bums lost. Have you seen The Big Lebowski? I have seen The Big Lebowski. Pretty yeah. great movie. That's a good impression, too. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know that I would say the bums lost. I think what happened was, in fact, a group of activists, a group of brave activists, introduced the idea of the 99% and the 1%. Yeah, I want to be 1%. Thank you very much. I want to make those fat stacks of cash. Do you like hip hop? I do like hip hop. I pattern my own persona off of like a Jay Z or like an Eminem or like a Big Papa. It's like money makes the world go round. Bang, bang, bang. Right. You know that I can't argue with anything that you just said. Money does Why make, not? It, money does make the world it's go round. It's inarguable, right? <laughs> Well, the problem is that more and more, uh, it's the American dream is a myth. You know, you got 50% of Americans by recent census data living in poverty. So that, you know, one in two. Half? Yeah, half. Mm, that doesn't seem right. Here's why I couldn't go to Occupy Wall Street. I have to go to work. <laughs> Remember work, the thing you go to to make money so you can afford things? <laughs> and I feel like a lot of the people at Occupy Wall Street weren't the hardest workers in the world, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, you know, that's certainly the perception that was put ah! out there by the uh, uh -oh. mainstream media. Smell alert. <laughs> I met a lot of brilliant, hardworking, employed or underemployed people down there because there's a lot of people who want to work full time or are working two and three part time jobs and still, like I said before, living in poverty. Yeah, I guess they didn't have access to showers because it was like stink -a vision down there. Party of a thousand. There were too many of them. It's like New York's already crowded. If you all get in one park, all of our uh, peeners are going to be touching everybody's butts. That's what kept you from going down? I just don't, I'm, I don't do drugs. You say everybody wasn't using drugs, but I feel like you'd have to be if you don't like Chase Manhattan. Well, yeah, it, it is convenient, uh, maybe to quote one of your hip hop heroes, more money, more problems. Uh, the most important thing is focusing on this corrupt, broken, rigged system uh, and the collusion between government and corporate America that really excludes the citizens from the process of democracy, if in fact we even have one. So it's about what Ted said, not about street poop. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, no, street no, poop. No. Hey, curb your human. That's all the time we have today on Don't You Think. Ted, it's been so nice talking to you today. I didn't understand a lot of it. Maybe we'll have you back on to explain some of it. In I'd the meantime, to. we're going to close the show like we always do with a quote from my inspiration, Mifflin High School football coach Dig Mathers. Mm -hmm.